me, yeah, I actually was, uh, but you know, uh, I always want to play. Uh, so we did all day, we did a lot of things to get ready for the game. Did you know that Luka Doncic joined the League of All-Time Greats in 2024? All the credit for this goes to his awesome performance in the 2024 postseason of the NBA. His performance has been so great that he has joined the League of Greats with Jason Tatum himself. He helped the Dallas Mavericks reach the NBA Finals. They defeated the Minnesota Timberwolves in a shocking 124-103 in Game 5 on Thursday in the Western Conference Finals. He scored 20 points in the first quarter alone, enough to outscored the entire opposition team. Not to mention his unique habit of trash talking to the fans has really excited Dallas fans. He will be playing the first final after scoring a 36 point, 10 rebound, 5 assist and 2 steal night. He hasn't just shown his dominance in game 5 alone. He has been great throughout the season, especially during the playoffs. In the 17 postseason games that he has played in, he has scored 28.8 points, 9.6 rebounds and 8.8 .8 assists. These are figures no other member of the Dallas Dallas Mavericks can boast of. He is leading his team in this category as his team races to the finals. The only people who are nearly as good as him are Nikola Jokic, LeBron James, Tim Duncan, and Jason Kidd. Kidd is actually his coach at the Dallas Mavericks. All the fans are excited to see how Tatum and Luka go head-to-head -head in the finals. The final match will take place between the Dallas Mavericks and the Boston Celtics. In both these teams, Luka and Tatum are star players. They will remain headliners as the two teams go head-to-head -head in the 2024 for NBA Finals. Lucas's performance is despite the fact that his team had a home ground disadvantage in each of the playoff matches. Luca might come out to say that his team will win the match, not him, but it is undeniable that Tatum and Luca will indeed go head to head. How they face off man to man is going to determine how and where their team ends up. Who do you think will perform better? Will Luca be able to keep up his streak? The Larry O'Brien trophy is at stake here. Luca looks very different from the typical NBA giant. The likes of Shaquille O'Neal and others the neck beard, this Eastern European guy has taken his legacy beyond expectations. He has himself agreed that he cannot move fast on the court. Despite this, his numbers are staggering. He has a certain craving for his food as well. But throughout the season, he has played himself into good shape. This is a pretty common practice among players of the NBA, so whether he is as active outside the court as he is inside is not important. With his sudden shocking and awesome playoff performance, this is the first time that the Mavericks will go to the NBA Finals since 20. 2011. In all, all of the five playoff games, the fewest points he ever scored was a staggering 28. That's more than the highest score of most average players in the NBA. Ironically, that was the only game where the Dallas Mavs lost. Some have joked that Luka could have done this intentionally because he wanted to take the game to Minnesota just to annoy the Timberwolves a little more, as if defeating them wasn't enough. The Dallas Mavs have won against the Minnesota Wolves four times. In these four matches, Luka Doncic scored an impressive average of 33 3.5 points. His style is sadistic and a pleasure for Dallas fans to watch. You would have mercy on the opposition, looking at him digging the opposition's grave. You would wish that he goes a little easier at them, only to see him pull nasty tricks that he has up his sleeve. Perhaps the most important moment of these playoffs was Doncic hunting Rudy Gober for sport atop the three-point line before sinking the shot that officially cemented Lucas Place as one of the NBA's all-time sickos. Doncic has always been absolutely ruthless and that's how you need to be if you want to win. In his entire career, he's made it to five All-NBA teams in his six years. He scores with both cruelty and grace as if it were an art form to him, but the way he chased down Rudy Gobert in Game 2 was a perfect display of who Luka is and what he's made of. Gobert has four Defensive Player of the Year trophies, including this year's. Luka intentionally hunted him down just to show fans how mean he can be. This was just the targeted destruction of a single opponent. This adds fire to the issue because Gobert is the most most hated player in the NBA, and Dallas fans probably had a good time watching Luka destroy him with precision. Moreover, Luka did all this in Gobert's home court. Luka went on to score the winning point against Gobert, who was on guard in the defensive, as he yelled abuses at him, saying he couldn't guard against him. The NBA has its fair share of personal rivalries, but this was a different sight to watch. He broke the tie to win, making a statement later that Gobert was the defender he wanted. 
This tells you clearly that Luca wasn't just looking for fame, he was looking to prove a point against Gobert. And that's exactly what he did. This is not the first time he has taken down Mighty Gobert. That's how they became rivals in the first place. And Luca is relentless. He isn't letting it go. Two years ago, he did the same thing after knocking down Gobert with a point and then abusing him by saying he couldn't guard against him. This time, it was slightly less humiliating though, even though it was a playoff match as well. It looks like he saved his best moves for last, as he repeated the same deadly takedown in this year's playoffs. What do you think made Luka act like this against Gober? The Dallas fans, no doubt, had a thrilling experience full of adrenaline rush. Luka is the bully, and just like watching a bully at work, you would not want him to destroy you the same way. That's what opposition fans have been feeling throughout the playoffs. Experts have found similarities between him and Kobe Bryant, Kevin Garnett, and most unexpectedly, even Michael Jordan. All legends in their respective fields have redefined basketball as a sport, and they will be remembered as players in the Hall of Fame. The only similarity Luka has with these guys is the absolute ruthlessness and precision with which they perform on the court. Luka's highest personal score in the postseason is 36 points and he has been this good only because he is an absolute brute on the court. Whether his being mean is ethical is debatable, but it did provide some entertaining content for basketball fans. Currently, Doncic is staking his claim as the latest and best player in the league. He has been the league's leading scorer this season. He was initially terrible at defense, but has later improved significantly. Especially in tight situations, he has often delivered decent defense on the court. He has successfully scored against all the defensive tactics that Minnesota could use on him. As as a team, he has been an awesome lob passer, avoiding enemy possession. The only thing he hasn't seen in his lifetime sports career is the championship, and that's at stake in the coming days. It's worth remembering that, at least statistically, this has been Doncic's worst postseason. He's averaging 28.8 points per game this postseason. That's a ton by anyone else's standards, but he has never averaged fewer than 31 in any of his three previous playoff appearances. His field goal percentage at 43.8% and three-point percentage at 34.3% are also playoff lows but these stats cannot be used to judge him right now. He has played magnificently well this season in comparison to the rest of his team. He is currently playing with multiple leg injuries this postseason. Kyrie was leading as the scorer, while Doncic rested and recovered from his injuries. He was indeed good from the beginning and has improved in a few key areas this season, such as defense. It's just that this performance might be great, it's just that it's not his personal best. Doncic carries the single largest offensive responsibility in the finals. If the Mavericks ultimately win the championship, Doncic would become the first NBA champion to ever finish among the top 20 players in single-season usage rate in league history, or the top 30, or the top 40. What do you think the stats will look like? Doncic collects assists by creating specific, important shots for his teammates. There is still time for Doncic to rise to a level of undisputed superiority. The fact that Luka yearns to destroy defense on court should scare the Celtics if nothing else does. The defense is his greatest enemy, while he isn't that great at defense. Ironical, isn't it? If Doncic and the Mavericks can pull off the win over Boston in the finals, not only will it finish off one of the most impressive playoff matches ever, but it will also become a huge win for everyone powered by rivalry. Luka currently has five triple doubles and counting, a seven, two record on the road, and a lower seed in each round. Do you think Luka will become a part of the Hall of Fame? Let us know in the comments. If you liked this video, like, share, and subscribe.